Today I'll show you two interesting methods of adding custom symbols to your table to better describe your data. Let's get into it. We have a dataset with superheroes and their status. The status column contains data validation, so if we click on the B column and on this arrow we can see three statuses, on duty, on vacation and on medical leave. But we want to describe better our data and we want to use some custom symbols for that. The first step we are going to take is to create a table out of this dataset. So click on cell A1, then Ctrl Shift, right arrow, down arrow, then go to Insert tab and click on Table. Here make sure my table has headers is checked and click OK. Now we will need to change the style of the table to something simpler and also the name of the table to Method 1. The next step is to insert a smaller table where we will use the statuses and where we will assign the custom symbols. So the first column of our smaller table will be called status and here we will write the name of our statuses just like they are written in our dataset. So on duty, on vacation and medical leave. The second column will be called status indicator and here is where we will insert our custom symbols just for informational purpose. The third column will be called status reference and here we will insert a 1, a minus 1 and a 0 and you'll see later why we did that. Let's create a table out of this small dataset and let's rename it to method one symbols and enter. Now we can start inserting our custom symbols. If you go to insert you can see the symbol icon and if you click on it we get a very interesting window in here with custom symbols. The thing is that normally on a normal font we have very common symbols in here but within this whole list of fonts, there are some fonts that contain very interesting symbols. So I have identified four types of fonts that contain such symbols. They are Sigoya MDL2 assets, Sigoya Fluent, Windings and Webdings. If we start writing Sigoya, we have here Sigoya MDL2 assets and we are going to select it. And we can see here are some very interesting symbols. Because I already inserted some symbols, I can see them in the recently used ones. So the first thing, we will insert a shield for the duty status. If I double click on the symbol, it will be inserted. Then I will double click on the plane and then on the heart. Then if I close, we can cut the symbols and paste it into the right cells. Now the plane and then the shield. You can see that instead of the symbols we have some interrogation mark. This is because we have not chosen the proper font yet. So we need to go to Home tab and change from Aptos Narrow to Segoye Fluent MDL Assets. So now our symbols are displayed properly. The next step is to insert these symbols into our main dataset. So we will create a new column right click on column B, insert, we will name it as I from status indicator and we will make it smaller. Now we will start inserting the X lookup function. We need to insert the lookup value which is in the column C. We are in the second row, thus we will write C2. The next step of the X lookup function is the lookup array. Our lookup array is in the symbol table, so we will select this range. And you can see because we made a table out of this dataset, Excel has introduced the name of the table and the name of the column. Then if we put in a comma, we need to insert the return array, which in our case is the column containing the symbols. Right now, if we start writing the method one symbols table, we can see it in here. To select it, press on tab and then you can open square bracket. We can see the column names and choose the status indicator. Press again on tab 
close square bracket, close round bracket and enter. And you can see that the symbols have been entered into the new column. Here we need to also adjust the font. So select all the column, press on control shift down arrow and then search for the Sigoe font. But if you want to change the color of the custom symbols, if you go to the custom symbol table and if you change the color of the plane to blue, you can see that in the main dataset the color has not been changed. To be able to change the color of the custom symbols, we need to use a little trick with custom formatting. So we know that custom formatting is used to format numbers so we can use it to format the positive numbers, the negative numbers, the zeros, and we can also change the color of those numbers. So this is where we will use the status reference column. In our main data set, if we change the status indicator return array to status reference, our column will be replaced with ones, minus ones, and zeros. Now what we can do is to concatenate the three symbols and then to copy them into the custom formatting. We will write equal, then we will choose the shield, then we insert an ampersand, then we choose the plane, we insert another ampersand and we choose the heart. We have the symbols, now we need to copy and paste as values. Even though they are written with interrogation symbols, we know that they are the proper ones. If we try and copy the cell and then we go to format cell and custom, we can see that control V doesn't work. We are not able to copy them here yet. So instead we need to double click on the cell, select the three symbols, copy them, and then we can select the content of the column, right click, format cell, custom, and then control V. Here we can open the square bracket and we can start writing a name of a color. So we will color the shield with blue, we will close square bracket, then we need to insert the symbol into quotes, then we need to insert a column, a semicolon, then we will introduce the color for the negative value, the plane we will color with black, we will put the plane into quotes, then semicolon, and then we will color the heart with red, and we will also put the symbol into the quotes, and then we can click OK. So you can see that now our symbols have been colored. If you want to put in a different color, I have prepared for you a spreadsheet containing all the available colors in the custom formatting. So if you want, for example, to color the shield with dark red, you can select the color code, which in this case is color nine, then go back, select the content of the column, right click, format cell, and instead of blue, paste the color code. And you can see the color has been changed. The disadvantage of this method is that we are only able to change the color for three symbols because custom formatting allows to change the color for a positive number, a negative number and a zero. And we have already used them. So here is where the method two comes in. For the second method, we will use conditional formatting. And you can see that within the dataset, we have already inserted some conditional formatting. If I change the status of a superhero to on vacation, then the row is filled with blue. If we change the status to medical leave, then the row is filled with red. This time we will get the custom symbols from the internet. We go to Google and we just start writing custom symbols copy paste, then we get a lot of websites, but for this video we will choose this one. Then we can click on emoji and from here we can copy any emoji and paste it into Excel. Because we have used a shield, a plane and a heart, we will search and we will insert them into Excel.
So now we can copy all three and paste them to Excel. We can take it one by one and paste it into the right cell. For the duty we have the shield, then for medical leave we have the heart and the plane for on vacation. Now we will insert a new column within the data set. We will call it SI and we will use the XLOOKUP function to fetch the custom symbols. We will click on the adjacent cell from the status column, then the lookup array will be the status column from the smaller table, and then the return array will be the status indicator. Close round bracket and enter. And you can see that the symbols have been inserted to the column. If you want to change the colors of the symbols, you need to tweak the conditional formatting. So let's try and change the color for the plane. Let's select the whole content from the SI column. If you hover your cursor over the header of the column, you can select the whole content, then go to conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula. Here we already know that the background is blue, so we will still select the blue color, but for the font we will choose another color yellow for example and click OK. In the formula bar we will write equal C and we will make column C absolute, we will put the dollar sign in front, then C2 because 2 is the first row of the status column and then equal to on vacation. If cell 2 equals to on vacation, then format the symbol with blue background and yellow font and now click OK. You can see that the color of the plane has been colored with yellow. You can repeat the process for all the other symbols. The advantage of this method is that you can use any number of symbols. So for example, we can introduce a new status, we will call it lost in battle. And we will also need to add the data validation in here, so we will select the content from the status column, then go to data, data validation, and after medical leave we will write lost in battle. So now we are able to select lost in battle, but we don't have a symbol yet. So we will go back to our browser and we will start searching for a relevant symbol. So here I found the coffin, so I can copy it, then go back to Excel and I can paste it in here. So now we have a symbol for the fourth data validation. I hope this video convinced you to use custom symbols. If you enjoyed the tutorial, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you enjoyed using conditional formatting, check out this video, you might also like it. My name is Christian and see you into the next one.